Welcome to the AdMinder.com ad tracking tutorial, how to set up an ad code. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an ad code to track your online promotions. In this example, I'm going to track an AdMinder banner ad that I placed on the popular traffic exchange site, Traffic Swarm. I want to track how many clicks and sales are generated from the banner ad. Once you log into your AdMinder account, click the Ad Tracking button and you will be taken to the Ad Tracking Control Panel. Once you've set up a few ad codes in the system, the control panel provides an at-a-glance look at all of your ads, including all the important campaign statistics. To set up a new ad code, first click Create New Ad Code. Whenever you need to track a new advertisement, whether it's a banner, pay-per-click, easy ad, or even just a text link, you'll want to create a new and unique ad code for it. This will allow AdMinder to track the responses, actions, and sales generated and then calculate other important statistics for you. First, you will need to create a title for your ad code. This should be a short and meaningful code limited to 10 letters and or numbers and will appear in your ad tracking links, so choose wisely. For the banner ad on Traffic Swarm, I'm going to use the ad code TS0811. This means that we are advertising our website on Traffic Swarm in August 2011. If you plan on using AdMinder to track lots of links, ads, etc., you'll find it useful to split up your ad codes into different groups. For now, I would just use the standard default group, and I can always update this later. Next, enter the full URL of the site you're promoting in your ad. In this example, we're promoting AdMinder. You have the option of verifying your URL, which means that AdMinder will check to make sure that it works. In the description field, you will want to provide a brief description of your ad. The description is for your own reference. For the description of this ad, I'm going to write Traffic Swarm Banner Ads, August 2011. Next, we need to tell AdMinder how much we paid for the ad. This is needed to generate statistics for your ads, including cost per click, return on investment, and more. I've purchased $40 worth of banner ads, so I'm going to enter $40 here. Lastly, in the Add Notes section, you have the option of adding any other important details pertaining to your ad. This could include where you're running the ad, your advertising contact person, the dates you're running your ad, etc. Great, I've now successfully created a tracking URL. Now I just need to replace my original URL with my new tracking URL. Here's a preview of the banner ad that I'm currently running on Traffic Swarm. As you can see, the banner ad is linking to my original URL. As my banner ad is now, I don't know how many clicks or sale that it's generating. So I'm going to enter my new tracking URL and update my ad. Once I return to the control panel, my new ad code is listed here. As I start receiving clicks on my tracking URL, data will start generating in these fields. At any time, you can reset your data back to zero or delete an ad code by selecting the checkbox next to that ad code and then clicking on the corresponding action. To edit or view the details of the ad code, simply click on the ad code hyperlink. The tracking URL will automatically track clicks. As I mentioned earlier though, I also want to track the sales that my banner ads generate. First, click on the sales hyperlink. To track sales, all you need to do is copy and paste the sales tracking pixel onto the sales confirmation page of your website. Then, when a customer lands on your website via your ad tracking URL and makes a purchase, the sale will be recorded in AdMinder. Likewise, if you wanted to track any kind of action, such as a newsletter sign-up, you would simply add the action tracking pixel to your action confirmation pages on your website. Please note, if you are promoting another site as an affiliate, you will not be able to add the sales and action tracking pixels to your confirmation pages. However, you can work around this issue by using the universal tracking pixel. You can find more details on the universal tracking pixel in the ad tracking user guide, located here. Once your ad tracking URL and pixels are in place, there's nothing else you need to do. AdMinder will automatically record all of your data for you. That concludes the AdMinder ad tracking tutorial on how to set up your ad code. Now you can get started tracking your own ads in less than 5 minutes. 